It isn't enough to highlight liberal bias among social media giants. There needs to be a way to fight back, an alternative. Now, I think it's easy to lose track of all actions taken by these companies, but here's an incomplete list of recent punitive steps taken. Personalities Alex Jones, Milo Yiannopoulos, and Laura Loomer have been permanently banned by Twitter. Candace Owens was suspended by Facebook for seven days for saying white supremacy was not as big a threat to America as fatherlessness. Michelle Malkin was censored by Facebook for opposing the censorship of some of those I just mentioned. And perhaps most jarring, Dan Scavino, Trump's social media director, he was temporarily banned by Facebook in April after his posts were flagged by, quote, an algorithm. Now, one company is stepping into the breach, however, to solve this. Parler is a Twitter-like platform that was launched last year. It's already attracted a number of powerful people, including Senator Mike Lee and Trump campaign manager Brad Parscale. My next guest hopes that's just the beginning. Here now is CEO of Parler, uh, John Mates. Um, John, is this really going to be a Twitter alternative that conservatives have been seeking? I don't really like the idea of being an alternative Parlay. platform. I yeah, think I'm that I think that it should be more of the platform that social media should have been when it was originated. I mean, uh, the reality is uh, they are more act, they're acting more like publications rather than a community forum. And that's generally that's what should be created is a community forum for people to discuss politics, whatever they'd like. So no censoring. If someone says something inciting violence, will you leave it up? Well, see, that, that's actually against the law. So anything that we kind of get involved with has to have some kind of constitutional violation, some kind of Supreme Court premise, something that says, hey, you know, that's really not all right. There has to be a premise for it, though. We really don't want to get into the business of, uh, of kind of determining what is and is not allowed to be discussed. Now, what's your platform for making money here? Is it, uh, you know, using, um, and I look through your privacy statement. I always do that. Believe it or not, I started looking through, like in all these companies, they gather information, cookies, you can ask for your contacts to be shared, photos, yeah, I mean, everything. Most of that's boilerplate, I mean, to be honest. But, I know, yeah. I read the boilerplate, I'm a lawyer. Yeah. The boilerplate's actually really <laughs> important. Most people don't read it, and that's why they yeah. get in trouble. Uh, but mm -hmm. how do you make money in this? Do you, you make money by partnerships and so forth with the information you gather? Well, right now, we're not good. I mean, no, we're never going to be selling any information. So there's no that that's not really in our business model. But what we want to do is kind of recreate what marketing should have been in a way that we're not targeting people, not using their information to find them. Rather, we kind of want to provide them with uh, with more of an old school approach to advertising. And that's what we'll eventually be doing, as well as influencer marketing, because that's really important right now that influencers can convey the message better. Than, uh, than individuals or ah, you know, than the page as a whole. Right. So if someone who has a big media following, just like they have an Instagram, where you make money on Instagram or YouTube, mm -hmm. you can make money maybe, is it parlor or parlay? I'm hearing two it, different it's things. It's parlay. <laughs> it used parlay. to be parlay. Oh, but, oh you have to uh, be, oh, no one's going to say that, by the way. No, I'm going to change no. your name for you. <laughs> just call it parlor. It's actually the double meaning of going to a parlor. A beauty parlor or a salon, a parlor. So I, I just say parlor. That is exactly what happened. <laughs> Good. But. I think that's smart. Um, but uh, we are looking forward to seeing where this goes. I know Michelle Malkin, I think, and others are, are fascinated. I just might sign up later in the night. So that, um, that would be great. I mean, we've got a lot of people that are, that are being censored and a lot of people that just want to join a community where they can actually discuss without worrying about what's going to happen to them. You're freedom. offering freedom <laughs> on a new platform called Parlor. I appreciate it. Thanks so much.